Welcome or welcome back. This is Rael and here we are again with our movies related episode. Today we're talking about inspiring and sometimes heartbreaking movies. A little disclaimer, the availability on streaming platforms may vary depending on the country you're located in, where I am located in and when you're watching this video. We have 20 movies to talk about, so let's get into it. Number one, Something the Lord Made. This is a biographical drama that I found so inspiring that I even thought about making a whole video about this movie only, but I'd rather you watch the movie itself. Based on a true story, black lab technician Vivian Thomas and white surgeon Alfred Blalock revolutionized heart surgery amidst the racial injustice of the 1940s. This can be equally inspiring and heartbreaking because we see a lot of racism in the movie and if you are like me, every movie that involves racism, black Americans fighting for their rights, you will end up crying for half of the movie but it's definitely worth it. This changed history and I would highly recommend it, especially if you're into movies about medicine, research, and if you can handle scenes in hospitals. Number two, The Constant Gardener. This is a drama thriller and we're talking about deep issues here. It is based on a book of the same title from 2001 which is loosely based on true events, but these take place in Nigeria instead, whereas the movie is shot in Kenya. Assigned to a new post, reserved British diplomat Justin Quayle relocates to Kenya with his activist wife Tessa. When Tessa is found murdered, Justin's quest for the truth reveals disturbing issues. This takes place in Africa and actually I'm thinking about making a whole video about movies related to Africa in some way, but this will be for another day. And I just want to warn you that this is at times dark and thought-provoking because it also has to do about abuse of African people in the name of money. But I highly recommend you watch it because well, it will teach you a lot, it will most likely break your heart, but it's a smart and gripping thriller, so it's enjoyable in that sense, it's very well made, and it has a striking soundtrack. I will link below Kothbiro, which is the main soundtrack, and I always have it on my uh, working playlist. If you want to avoid spoilers, just don't look at the screen for the next five seconds because I will write some more details regarding the main issue discussed in this movie. Number three, Dark Waters. This is a legal thriller and actually I just watched another movie that is quite similar, I would call it a, as well a legal thriller, but it's not as compelling, perhaps. But if you like this genre, check out The Insider as well. This film is based on the 2016 New York Times magazine's article The Lawyer Who Became DuPont's Nightmare by Nathaniel Rich. And the story dramatizes true events. Again, a corporate defense attorney takes on an environmental lawsuit against a chemical company, uncovering a dark secret linking unexplained deaths to the corporation. As he exposes the truth, he risks his future, family and life. I believe dark waters should be mandatory in schools like it should be a recommended watch or it should be even shown in schools because this basically affects everybody on this planet at this point and I vaguely remember something about this topic being shown on the news in Italy but very little and even though we know what we should avoid and how we should behave based on what was uncovered in this lawsuit thanks to this lawsuit, we still tend to ignore it, like 
as if it's not that big of an issue. But this movie really, first, it can save lives, and second, it's very well made. And again, a bit on the heavier side. This is why the next one will be a little bit more lighthearted. <laughs> Number four, Miss Potter. This is a biographical drama based on the life of Beatrix Potter, the famous children's book writer and illustrator. Beatrix Potter, author of The Tale of Peter Rabbit, overcomes obstacles, including a domineering mother and Victorian chauvinism, in her quest for success. Along the way, she finds love and faces challenges that profoundly change her life. This is bittersweet, but also lovely, and it has a beautiful scenery. It's one of those movies that I just watch when I want to feel both inspired and also to feel immersed in a beautiful landscape and the little beautiful things in life. Number five, Sweet Bean. This is a Japanese drama that is heartwarming and inspiring. It's based on a novel called An by Tetsuya Akikawa, published in 2013, and the English edition came out in 2017. In a small bakery, Grumpy Sentaro reluctantly hires elderly Tokue, whose secret recipe for dorayaki transforms the struggling business. Alongside a young girl, they form an unusual companionship exploring friendship, life and meaning together. Again, this is heartwarming, it celebrates the simple joys in life, it's quite meditative and be warned, you will desperately crave dorayaki after watching this one. If you don't know what a dorayaki is, I will show it up here. And I think I learned how to make vegan dorayaki just because of this movie. <laughs> Again, if you want to avoid all spoilers, just don't watch the screen for the next five seconds. I will write a detail about a topic discussed in this movie. Number six, Rain Man. This is a road comedy drama. And if you haven't watched it yet, I mean, what are you waiting for? When a car dealer learns his estranged father left a fortune to an autistic brother he never knew existed, he takes Raymond, his brother, from the institution to claim the inheritance. Their cross-country trip changes both their lives. This is about disability and how an autistic person experiences life but also the impact of having an autistic member in your family, how this changes the dynamics. And I mean, you have Tom Cruise and Dustin Hoffman, but most importantly, the soundtrack. Oh my goodness, this is by Hans Zimmer. So perhaps this recommendation is for newer generations who might have missed it for some reason. But yeah, everybody should watch Rain Man. Number seven, Goodwill Hunting. This is a drama, and it's the first of a series of movies that I will recommend you next about mathematics, academia, sciences, and education in general. Will Hunting, a janitor at MIT with a genius level IQ, solves a challenging math problem and catches the attention of a professor. When Will is arrested, the professor arranges leniency in exchange for therapy with a psychologist, helping Will find direction in his life. And here we have Robin Williams and Matt Damon. And this should be enough for you to go ahead and watch it. But again, it's so inspiring and it gives you a lot to think about. And it has a hint of humor. I mean, Robin Williams is starring. And if you haven't watched it yet, again, chances are you are too young, because this was from 1997. Number eight, A Beautiful Mind. This is again a biographical drama based on true events. From the heights of notoriety to the depths of despair, a mathematician makes a groundbreaking discovery and nears international acclaim. However, his journey takes a painful turn, leading to profound self-discovery and personal challenges. This is not only about mathematics, again, but also about 
illness and disability. I will not say exactly which disability, but it might be difficult to watch at times because you really feel for the protagonist and what he is experiencing. And again, this is another masterpiece on this list. Number nine, the imitation game. And you see the theme by now. This is a period biographical thriller that is again based on true events. During World War II, English mathematical genius Alan Turing is recruited to crack the German Enigma code with assistance from a team of mathematicians. As he builds a machine to decipher the messages, Turing also struggles with his troubled private life and later faces unexpected challenges and disgrace. Again, we're talking about science, technology, mathematics. But also, I believe this movie should be watched by everybody, specifically because of the progress that we are making in science. This is a must watch if you are into computers, into technology, but it's also a great period movie if you're into World War II movies. And it's starring Benedict Cumberbatch and Keira Knightley, so that's also a plus. Number 10, Hidden Figures. This is a biographical drama again based on true events this is loosely based on the 2016 non-fiction book by margaret lee shetterly at nasa three brilliant african-american women are crucial to the success of early spaceflight overcoming racial and gender discrimination. Their work leads to a landmark achievement in the space race, restoring national confidence and inspiring global admiration. This is the movie that gave me the idea for this video, because again, we are talking about science, technology, mathematics, and these are truly hidden figures. So. African-American women who made history and nobody knew about this. And without this movie, I would have no clue about who are these people and why are they so important. But also, this movie is quite pleasant to watch because it's smart and it has a bit of comedy while showing some disturbingly wrong facts and realities that black women and African Americans in general had to face in those years. Number 11, October Sky. This is a biographical drama that I believe is not very well known. Let me know if you ever heard of this one. It's based on the book Rocket Boys, which is based on true events. The true story of a coal miner's son who, inspired by the launch of Sputnik, defies his father's expectations to pursue rocketry. Despite his father's disapproval, he builds rockets with the help of friends and a sympathetic teacher, hoping to achieve a better life through his new passion. And again, we're talking about science and technology, and we're talking about a boy who has done something that nobody believed possible in his community. So if you haven't heard of this one, please go ahead and check it out. Number 12, The Man Who Knew Infinity. This is a British biographical drama based on the book of the same name from 1991, which is based on a true story. The film follows the life and academic career of pioneering Indian mathematician Srinivasa Ramanujan who travels to England in 1913 to collaborate with an esteemed professor. The groundbreaking work and deep friendship shape Ramanujan's legacy in mathematics. And again, we are talking about academia and mathematics. I don't know exactly why I have this thing about all of these movies around the same theme, but I found this story truly inspiring. And again, I don't know if it's just because it's a diverse story and it takes place in 1913 or what, but I would really recommend you watch this one. Number 13, Scent of a Woman. This is a drama that was previously adapted by Dino Risi in the Italian movie Profumo di Donna, exact same translation, but both were adapted from an Italian novel, Il Buio e il Miele, Darkness and Honey, by Giovanni Arpino. By the way, I keep hearing people who don't know Italian 
saying this name wrong and I totally understand I mean you don't have to learn the rules of Italian to just to say a name but Giovanni but I heard it so much that just so you know this is how you pronounce it so it's like it's similar to J-O but it's written G-I-O that's it okay <laughs> A prep school student needing money agrees to look after a retired, blind lieutenant colonel over Thanksgiving. What he expects to be an easy job turns into a challenge as he navigates the complexities of Frank's difficult personality and plans. Al Pacino is starring in this movie and there is one particular scene, I'm not gonna tell you anything about it, other than you have to stay till the end and watch it because it's remarkable. It's one speech in particular. But overall, this movie will give you a lot to think about, especially looking at this peculiar figure that is the character Al Pacino is portraying. And I don't know if some people haven't watched it because of the title, which might be a bit misleading, like you get why this is the title as you watch but i would have changed it definitely <laughs> i don't know but yeah absolutely worth watching and again this has to do with academia number 14 freedom writers this is a biographical drama based on the 1999 book the freedom writers diary which is written by the teacher erin gruel and the students who compiled the book out of real diary entries about their lives. A dedicated teacher at a racially divided Los Angeles school inspires her class of at-risk students, initially deemed incapable of learning, to embrace education and plan for their futures. By assigning relatable reading material and encouraging journal writing, she fosters tolerance and personal growth among her students. This is the last one on this list about education and it's truly inspiring. It's starring Hilary Swank and it deals with some difficult topics because the lives that these students are living are incredibly difficult but it's absolutely worth watching and perhaps this should go along with Dark Waters and be shown to classes. Number 15, Into the Wild. This is a biographical adventure drama and it's an adaptation of the 1996 non-fiction book of the same name, which is telling a true story. After graduating as a top student, Christopher McCandless abandons his possessions, donates his savings to charity and hitchhikes to Alaska to live in the wilderness. His journey reflects his quest for meaning beyond a conventional career and affluent lifestyle. This has a striking soundtrack by Eddie Vedder and this was life-changing for me, personally. It was not only inspiring, but it challenged my view of society and life. And I remember watching it when I was about to turn 18 and it completely revolutionized my entire world because I finally saw someone who I could relate to at a deep level and it gave me purpose. It gave an explanation to some of my questions for which nobody had answers. And perhaps watching it now, as I'm older, it wouldn't be as life-changing, I don't know, but it truly inspired me. And I watched it over and over again. It was my favorite movie for quite some time. Number 16, Cool Runnings. Here we are starting a short series of sports-related movies. This is a sports biographical drama and it's loosely based on true events. This comedy follows a Jamaican sprinter who, after being disqualified from the Olympics, teams up with a disgraced coach to form the first Jamaican bobsled team. Their journey to compete in the Winter Olympics leads to unexpected challenges and humorous moments. 
part of this movie takes place in Jamaica and the rest of it takes place in Canada. This is one of those Disney movies that we used to watch when we were kids. As a kid it was hilarious and I recently rewatched it uh, on a plane and there was a scene in particular that is stuck in my mind is the one in which one of these Jamaicans goes into a fridge to train and to get ready for Canadian winter and he comes out and he breaks one of his locks which is completely frozen and I remember my first winter here in Finland I didn't have any <laughs> frozen um, braids but I felt just like him for a little bit especially like the first time that my eyelashes froze, <laughs> was hilarious. But other than these silly moments, it's truly an inspiring movie and you are rooting for them, no matter their condition, no matter what they went through and no matter the chances that they would have to win the competition. It's one of those that you put on just to have a good laugh and it's a proper comedy. Number 17. Queen of Katwe. This is a biographical sports drama that is also based on true events and takes place in Uganda. Living in the slum of Katwe, 10-year-old Fiona's life transforms when she meets Robert Katende, a missionary who teaches chess to local children. Discovering her remarkable talent for the game, Fiona rises to become a top player, gaining opportunities for a brighter future and a chance to escape poverty. Oh, I cried so much <laughs> during this movie. This came out in 2016, but I just watched it this year. And again, it shows the reality of Fiona and her family living in the slums. And so you both have this lighthearted side of kids playing chess and learning a new sport and enjoying this activity, but also the harsh reality of what life is for her and how much chess could change her life. So I would say this is truly inspiring and you should watch it. Number 18, The Blind Side. This is again a sports drama that is based on the 2006 book of the same name by Michael Lewis. The story follows a homeless and traumatized teen who, after being taken in by a caring family, transforms into a standout athlete and achieves significant success. With the support of his new guardians and a devoted tutor, he overcomes his troubled past and realizes his potential both academically and in sports. This is truly heartwarming and you should just go ahead and watch it. And even though I don't really actively seek for sport-related movies, it's not my main genre, this is definitely worth watching, just like the others on, on this list, regardless. So it doesn't matter if you are an athlete, if you are into whatever sport, learning about this teen and his life and trauma that he went through is, is so inspiring in itself. And on top of that, you have this athletic career. And this was the last movie about sports. Number 19, The Shawshank Redemption. This is a prison drama that is based on the 1982 Stephen King novella Rita Hayworth and Shawshank Redemption. Over several years, a wrongfully convicted man forms a deep friendship with a fellow inmate while enduring the harsh realities of prison life. Through compassion and resilience, they seek solace and redemption, navigating brutality and eventual hope for freedom. This is a masterpiece, but I haven't had the courage to watch it again because I have a truly hard time watching prison movies, which is the reason why I have never watched The Green Mile, despite knowing that it's a masterpiece too. But it simply terrifies me. The idea of following those characters in such harsh conditions, that's probably a problem that I have. At least, I think I might be too empathetic because I 
physically feel the sensations and the emotions and the heavy feelings that characters experience in films. So forgive me if I haven't watched The Green Mile, I know it's worth watching. I'm just waiting for a day in which I'm feeling strong enough. <laughs> But Shawshank Redemption is something that I watched when I was very young and in Italian it's called Le Ali della Libertà, which is a much better title in my opinion. It literally means the wings of freedom. And I remember Morgan Freeman in some interview saying that the Shawshank Redemption is such a poor choice for a title for a movie and possibly it's one of the reasons why it's not as popular as it should be. And <laughs> yeah, it, I absolutely agree. And I watched it in Italian, so I had no idea about this English title until later in my life. But this is a must watch. Again, if you can handle movies that take place in prisons. And finally, number 20, Men of Honor. This is a biographical drama inspired by a true story. An ambitious sharecropper joins the US Navy with the goal of becoming the first black master diver. Facing intense discrimination and sabotage from a racist instructor, he perseveres through grueling training and proves his determination and skill against all odds. This is again equally inspiring and heartbreaking because this can turn into tearjerker quite easily and the protagonist goes through so much in this movie and you are rooting for him the entire time you're just hoping for the best and you don't want him to experience all that he's going through and i don't know how popular this movie is i mean it's from 2000 so perhaps the younger generation is not as familiar with this movie, but I would highly recommend you watch Man of Honor. And there you have it, my top 20 inspiring movies. Now, I just have five honorable mentions, so I will not get into the plot or anything, but these are The Miracle Worker and Dead Poets Society, which I both mentioned in my linguistics video, so cinema and linguistics. Then you have Roman J. Israel Esquire that I mentioned in the very first video of this movie related series. And finally, a movie that I wasn't sure if I would recommend and it's The Pursuit of Happiness because it's so heartbreaking that, I mean, it was too difficult for me to watch. So the first time I watched it, I had to stop something like halfway through it and I went back years later to watch the whole thing but it's excruciating for me because it hits too close to home so it's not about prisons it's not about abuse in Africa or it's not about any of the harsh topics that I mentioned in other movies on this list but it has to do with financial struggles and that's too difficult for me to watch. <laughs> so if you can handle it, I would recommend it. If not, don't do it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. First, if you have watched any of these movies, if you enjoyed them, what you think about them. Second, which are your recommendations for inspiring movies? Third, do you want me to make a video about inspiring TV shows as well? Just let me know. If you liked this one, please like, share it, because it helps so much. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one.